Here we have a truck you don't see very often, a 1966 Chevrolet Suburban, half ton Suburban, um, two passenger doors, two rear doors, and boy, this thing, it's unlimited what you could do with this truck. Uh, you could absolutely drive it the way it is because it runs and drives as good as it looks right now. Someone might street rot it, who knows, but uh, either way, very solid 66 Suburban. Excellent example of one. Uh, this truck just came to us out of a long-term collection, just the way you see it. It had been uh, in storage for, for a while. And as you can see, she didn't hold up too bad. Very solid truck. Again, as you look down the lines here, you can see body lines and gaps are pretty doggone straight. Naturally, the truck has been repainted at some point in its life. It's, uh, uh, you can tell it's been done a while ago, and, but it is still has a great shine to it. There's a few flaws I'll point out here in a little while for you, but just trying to give you a quick overview here at first. That uh, this thing definitely turns heads, and we're just now getting it advertised, and I don't anticipate that this one will be here long. This one is powered by a 350 V8. Um, the suffix code CMJ on the engine that comes back as a 350 V8. I'll show you the inside here. You can see the door again, no rust bubbling or anything like that. Very solid rockers again, no bubbling down along the bottom there. Take a look inside. As I mentioned, it's powered by a 350 V8 and paired with an automatic transmission. See, someone did add uh, aftermarket signals to it at some point. So temp, temp control, AM radio, and the glove box, which does contain the original uh, owner's manual as well. Just a fun truck. Obviously, I'd say the carpet has been replaced at some time. That's in good shape as well. Seats are looking pretty good. They're not torn or ripped. When we get to the other side, I'll show you how to access the back here. Now, you can see all the still pictures of this truck on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. There you'll be able to see probably right around 100 still pictures of this truck inside, outside, and underneath. Let me get a look at this side for you. Again, very solid down low. And if you want to get in the back, this seat just flips forward nice and easy. And there you are in the back. We'll fire it up here in a little bit for you. Open the back doors. Also, I wanted to note, at some point, uh, someone has, appears to have replaced a lot of the weather stripping, um, which is good. It's not all hard and brittle. Like here, you can see it's still nice and soft. These open up nice and wide for cargo or tailgating or whatever you want to do with it. Pretty neat truck. I'll hop in and fire it up here for you so you can hear it run. Okay. Fired right up nicely. Here we are under the hood. 350 V8, as I mentioned before. The truck does have power brakes and power steering. So, it drives out pretty easy as well. I mentioned a few imperfections in the paint I want to show you. When they painted it, it appears some of the metallic may have kind of clustered a little bit. You'll see what I mean. It's a little bit right here. And there, there's a few spots where that is on the truck. It's not all over, but there's one on the hood. There's a spot on this door, as you can see right there. Um, but again, overall, she looks pretty good. There's a couple of chips that have been touched up, that sort of thing. Um, 
But again, what you're getting is a very solid, straight, clean example of a 1966 Suburban. These are tough to come by. Uh, the glass in the rear does slide, as you can see as well. But again, you can see all the still pictures of this truck on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. Financing is available and trade-ins are considered as well.